Well, the Max Track showing some green off to the left side there of your screen, and that is associated with moisture that's streaming north, and yeah, that's also associated with Barry. Soon to be the storm formerly known as Barry because it is weakening. It's a tropical depression this morning and will very soon become a post-tropical low. Losing its tropical characteristics, but still packing a moisture-laden punch. Now, big picture, uh, look at this, the storm threat for today. There's a severe threat, but it's up across the upper plains. This is associated with a low that's up there. And there's this marginal threat that goes from western Kentucky right down mirroring the track, the eastern side of the track especially, of what's left of Barry. Tomorrow, it doesn't change a whole lot into Tuesday. We've got this marginal risk going into E-Town, our western counties. And by midweek, when we see our best chance for showers and storms, there's a, not much in the way of a severe threat from it. Heavy rain potential is there, though, and this is satellite imagery. You can see the cloud cover blossoming with the uh, associated swirl of Barry as it continues to gradually work its way north. So it is a tropical depression, and, uh, well, it looks like I need to shift that a little bit. It's 80 miles west-southwest of uh, Little Rock and expected to continue that transition to extra tropical. The remnant low working its way up across Missouri and eventually into the Great Lakes and the... Uh, parts of the Ohio Valley here. Since we're on the eastern side of this, though, we'll have that moisture continue to work its way into the Ohio River Valley, and we are going to get wet from this. Uh, at the moment, the watches and warnings that are out as far as a flash flood watch is concerned, it mirrors the track as well. That flash flood watch goes all the way up into western Kentucky. And the future track shows we'll have a few showers and storms developing late today. Quick hit. Tomorrow, scattered showers, thunder showers likely. You'll see those developing as you get into your Tuesday afternoon. Uh, that moisture working with daytime heating. Best chance will be in the afternoon and evening. And then I think our most widespread rain chance will kick in tomorrow night into Wednesday. And some of that rainfall could be heavy, but it's going to be the heaviest uh, right along the Mississippi River Valley where they could see up to a half a foot. We're looking at about a one to three inch range in the bulk of it Tuesday night into Wednesday. 72 degrees. The dew point's still up there. It got steamy over the weekend again. We're in the 70s and 60s. The dew point's in the 60s and 70s. Uh, it's the uh, swampiest down in the southern counties. And look what happens with the temperature trend going into the weekend. We're going to see a significant dip. This associated with a more widespread rain from Barry. So midweek showers and storms. Wednesday, we may not get out of the upper 70s. And then on the back end of Barry, we've got this big heat ridge building in. We could see our highest highs, our hottest air of the season this weekend. So far, we've peaked in the low 90s. We're talking about getting into the mid 90s. When you combine that with lingering humidity this weekend, we very well may end up with a weekend heat advisory. So get ready to get sweaty this weekend. That's what you've got on uh, the way. We're in the upper 80s today, mid to upper 80s, so it's warm, pretty close to our average high. Uh, but again, a few showers and storms into the afternoon. Tonight, low to mid 70s, partly cloudy and isolated shower storm. And then tomorrow, well, we're back in the mid 80s with that increasing chance for showers and storms. So Chris is the shower and storm chance goes up. The temperatures come down. There's that uh, upper 70s Wednesday. It may feel a little cool to you, but it will also be a little wet. Uh, unfortunately, for our first day of Barbasol uh, championship coverage there out of Keen Trace. Into the weekend, we will dry out, but it is going to get hot. So relief from the heat, but we're going to need our umbrella. Tom, thank you. 520 now.